<laughs> we might have to work on the positioning of 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 Luki's background shot. I don't know if you uh, see. Yeah, that's you know whatever, man. Y'all, I'm my dong. y'all treacherous out here, man. Y'all treacherous. I'm just saying we might want to adjust a little bit because because sure, the Luki Cage sure part of the show. Hey, yo, that's what I meant. Feel like a lady in Saudi Arabia. Purity police. Look, I don't turn around. What? I'm yeah, don't yeah, turn around. Yo, I wonder. I don't know. I ain't really oh. that close. I wonder. This is Dave, Dave Post do this album cover for me. That's not Dave Post, man. Album. I wonder if he made he made a bulge in my dong. Did he? He didn't. No, he didn't. Good. He doesn't. He doesn't draw to be to to go anatomically uh, <laughs> correct, man. He. The Abyss Podcast, hosted by Lukey Cage with Carl and Primo Jazz. You know what I mean? Everyone, welcome to the Abyss Podcast, episode 4-0. I'm almost 40 years old. 40! I'm 40! That's right. You, uh, Fucking don't know 40. This, uh, yeah, you don't know um, this references. I'm 40! Uh, there's a show out there called Big Mouth. Where Jay, he's a perverted kid on Big Mouth. He always thinks he's forty when he's fucking his pillow. So like when he climaxes and when he ejaculates into his pillow, he says, "I'm forty. Yeah. So like that, that's uh, it. It excites him to to think that yes. he's older. That's yes, a funny show. He's a, that show is crazy. It, that show I've is heard hilarious. About it. Yeah, it's fucked up in the most pos- possible way. Good. It's like real shit for for kids. Like they're perverted. They're going through changes. And uh, yeah, Jay is a pervert, and I would never let him play with my kids. Never. You know, that's Nick Kroll and uh, and Jay Mul- uh, John Mulhaney, right? And John Mulhaney I mean, and... Nick Kroll, that's my boy. Yes. Nick Kroll. I fuck with Nick Kroll. And, uh, Nick Kroll had a... And Nick Kroll and uh, Jordan Peele. And, uh, yep, he's on it, definitely. And who else? Who else? Who else? There's a bunch of great people on that show. Yeah, excellent show, yo. So if y'all watch yep. Big Mouth, go watch that shit. It's on Netflix, I believe. Great Netflix. That's right. Yeah. For yeah, now, at season. least, you know, Something I like mean, that. until Netflix starts downsizing because they're because yeah. they're losing because they're hemorrhaging funds and subscribers who don't want to pay too for many streaming subscriptions. Sites. They just want to steal people's password. Yeah, man. Like uh, it's a I wild game. On Netflix. Since yeah. Why? Disney Plus arrived. Uh, I ain't really be on mm-hmm. Netflix. Disney Plus, exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. HBO Max. By the way, out people, if you ain't know, HBO Max is not HBO to the max. It's Cinemax mixed with HBO. HBO Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was. I thought it was like, oh, HBO to the max. No, yeah, that's not. what I like, thought it was. It's <laughs> HBO and Cinemax mixed together. Yeah. 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 Yep. Cinemax that's, had a dope porno. You know that's that? unoriginal. That's their. So that's that's their title. Yeah. The TV execs. What do you expect? I think it's dope. Okay. HBO Max. <clears throat> like it's like Power Jab. <laughs> not not really. Yeah. But not Jab really. is the first year. But Power Jab is like a dope oh, like yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. Before. I get it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm just sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry guys. I'm not I'm not impressed by you you broke my dream of <laughs> I just thought HBO Max was like HBO Max. You know what I mean? Like the powerful HBO. But you just telling me that it's just HBO and you're Cinemax not watching mixed Wimpy together. HBO. You're watching yeah. HBO Max. Yeah, you know, like it's extreme. Max. You know what I mean? That's what I thought it was. But you're telling it's me like that those it's, '80s Tonka commercials and shit. It's the Max. To the, it's yeah, HBO, to the Max. Yeah. Extreme. Yeah. Then the so slasher was, comes out. I guess not. The slasher. Nah. Oh well. But but uh, really before dream. we go on to the other top, what y'all like better, HBO Max or Disney Disney Plus? Disney Plus. Neither. I got my own bootleg cable that I use, so I got all of them. I got everything. Shout out! Oh, shout out! Free ninety nine. You know, <laughs> free ninety nine. The five yeah, minute discount. Yo. I watch everything, Joe. I don't. I don't care about. I really need to cancel my Netflix, but I still have it. I don't know why mm-hmm. I still pay for it, but I do. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, man. I mean, no one's. Gonna, I can watch. No one's going to believe you have no streaming service. You have to at least have one to throw the, the feds off. Or, yeah, or I, you guess. I mean, I feel like at this point, the people we should start like really suing companies for charging us for certain services, man, like especially Internet providers. The Internet should be free for everybody. If you can buy the equipment to to be able to beam the Internet or to like, access the Internet, the Internet itself, the space of the Internet, meta, the metaverse 
the the pre the pre metaverse, let's call it, all that shit should just be free for anybody who can get into <clears throat> it. And if you have an internet provider, like as as a service, all you're doing is just setting up a window for me to type names in. I can make a generic window, right? That could probably just type up names or type whatever I want to search and go to wherever I want to be. But no, it's like Google got to get paid for this. And, you know, you want to hear music. Oh, (laughs) Spotify got to get paid. And I don't know, man. Don't get me. Don't get me started, man. I don't I don't believe in paying for (laughs) shit. man. Certain shit should be free, man. Fuck that. Somebody's got to pay all the employees, and I mean, got to get, got to get someone. Who are the who are the employees of the internet? Out the people that were in the girl in the metaverse. Google. Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. No. Oh damn! My basketball player, my basketball teammate called me. Let me hang up. Oh man, yeah. See, no, wow. Mookie got taken off because he was talking about. The, uh, the evils of the metaverse. So um, they, they took him in to deal with him in a back room. He just wants me to do extra editing. That's what it is. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't... I mean, as far as paid services, I, I my problem is at one point I had wanted to get rid of cable and I was like, why can't I just get certain certain ones? Like certain channels that Man. I want and that's it. And basically, that's what we yeah. have now. <clears throat> yeah. But all of them cost fifteen bucks, and it's hardly our any of now. them really give you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's piecemeal. I'm, it's I'm like paying more now than I would have if I just kept cable. No, that's out, man. I got YouTube that's TV. Out. YouTube TV. I, yeah, that's I watch. I, that's my. I watch that's YouTube I, more than I watch real TV. To be honest no, but, with you, but I mean, YouTube TV is my shit. I got the regular channels through YouTube TV. You know my you pops uses that live sometimes channels. to watch uh football games. I guess basketball, you can get that football, on there. Yeah, it. basketball, Local sports, shit, all the that. Olympics. Uh, yeah, I don't have ESPN yeah, Plus right. anymore. Yeah, fucking mm. um, that was my basketball teammate. Uh, is as y'all know, I play in the basketball league on Thursdays. I'm gonna tell y'all how my day went. It's fucked up. Uh, I went to work at 9 p.m. last yesterday. Then I got mm-hmm. off at four. I go home. Eat, take a shower, uh, go to sleep, 5.15. I get up, 8.30, shower, eat, get on the highway, go to work, get there, 8.45, clock in, 10 a.m., work all the way up to 2 o'clock, then I get a break. I go to the bank to cash my first check from this new job. I'm at the window. Five police officers come in that joint. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm at the window. And like, the bank teller says, uh, did we call you? I'm sitting there like, oh, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like, it's like, yeah, no. But they didn't call them, so they walked out. I'm like, good. So oh. I go back to work. Yeah, that shit was, that shit was weird. I thought they was going for me. I'm like, do I look like the director of Black Panther? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, you remember the dude he wrote on there? Yeah. I want to be discreet in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of fucked up, man. You don't give the bank teller a note. Yeah, I don't you don't give have to do that. Teller nothing. Nobody you know knows. You. First of all, knew, nobody knew it was him. He yeah. he drew more attention to himself than was necessary. It's fucked up what they did to him, and it's it's totally unacceptable. You know what I mean? Like if you if your if your teller doesn't have enough common sense to be able to discern that situation and be like, oh, the note isn't a robbery note. It says, hey, I'm this guy. Here's my bank account. And I checked the bank account and it's that dude. It's not fucked up, but it's not fucked up. Carl, you know what I mean? Okay, like, what's the... Carl, no, come on, no, Carl. Carl got to be the be in the middle right here. He wrote on the part of the slip that said, don't write on this part of the slip. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Did he? <laughs> it says, don't no, he write didn't. here. No, I mean, Google no, that shit. Google that shit. Carl, I'm gonna look it, it up. It's, okay, I, well, I'm. You know? I'm just gonna say, regardless, it's dumb to hand uh, a teller a note. Yeah, I mean, Unless in any sense, it doesn't matter don't, what's don't on halfway. it. You know, and I can't tell you how many times I've been to a bank. I've never had a problem with anybody listening to what I was telling the teller. Never. But I don't. I don't sit there though. going. Hey, Miss Teller, bitch, can I get some money out of my account? I have eight million in there. Like, you just fucking talk to her like a normal person. Get your fucking yeah. deposit or your withdrawal and get the fuck out. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, it doesn't mean he should have been treated the way he was, but 
it's sometimes Atlanta. you do stupid shit. Yes, it's Atlanta, but everybody's a superstar in Atlanta. You have the same, you have a guy who drives a Lamborghini truck, just like T.I. and Tiny, that is a scammer and has mad money in the bank. We don't care in Atlanta about you being a superstar or you being famous. There's famous people that nothing. come into every bank, you know what I'm saying? So him be, trying to be discreet in L.A. is different yeah. from him being discreet in Atlanta. And once again, he wrote on the part of the bank slip to say, do not write here. Do not that write here. That is a dumbass word. Like, I want to be discreet. So the lady did her <laughs> job and she called and said, it might be him, it might not. The police came. Uh, in my case, I'm not famous at all. And I saw five police officers come in the bank on my break. I'm tired. I'm drinking a Red Bull. You know what I'm saying? I got a Red Bull with me. You know what I'm saying? Man, you yeah, got to stop yeah. drinking that shit, man. Bro, I need to, but I was tired. I wanted to play this game so bad. Uh, well, after my break, uh, at, we got 2.50, 6 o'clock get here. I leave with Matt. I'm mad leave for work and go to the game. The game is 7 o'clock. I got there like 6.45 stretch. We lost to these motherfuckers three times in a row. We lost to them one by 20. We lost to them the second game. We went to overtime. My homie Dev shot a horrible shot. Went to overtime, lost by like four. The third time we played in the championship, lost some niggas by like six. This game, we won. Like wire to wire, we won. I'm happy as shit. You know what I'm saying? My homie Will got a charge, and that's the dude that called me right now. He got a charge at the end of the game to kind of steal it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he hadn't got a charge in like three years with this dude. The dude's 6'8". You know what I'm saying? He wears 41 like Dirk. You know what I'm saying? yeah. So he's really excited that he won this game. So we called probably to be like, yo, I got a charge. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we won. Yeah, but it's not the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? So, but we finally beat this team, yo. Finally. That's good. Well, well, That's well. what's up. Salute. Yeah, so Congratulations, y'all. Yeah, but we need to, uh, I'm going to go sage the gym. Yeah. Well, well I'm going to sage the gym. Yeah, that's where it's it up. But everybody out there, do not write on slips. Uh, the bank teller slip. Don't do, don't slip the note. Just use a banking app. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can actually call ahead and tell them that you're coming, can't you? Yeah, you can. You can do that, yeah, and sure just like could. Carl said, you can put it. Depending on who you bank with, you can set an appointment to have withdrawal set up already for you. You just walk into the bank, and then it's waiting mm-hmm. for you. Like there's yeah, ways or, around it. It's unfortunate. Or go that into it the bank to and ask for the bank manager, it. and go into that little side yeah, office go into the little and say, "Hey, room. I've got to do a large transaction. Hey, how you doing? You know, I'd like it real discreet. Are you the, the manager? Can I talk what to else you is he yeah, doing? Let's go to my office. Yeah, thank you, Carl. Duh. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. I mean, like sounds a lot better. <laughs> well, were any? And this probably is not the first time he's done this. Uh. Well, it isn't. He said he never actually, this has never happened to him before. Well, so, okay. Hopefully it happens to nobody else. He's never world. almost robbed Don't a be bank. That goofy. Yeah, right. You, <laughs> <laughs> you never. <laughs> exactly. Like, come on. Don't. I you actually you let me half said, rob a bank. <laughs> hands behind your back, you say. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. We gonna let. Hey, I'm gonna let him live, though, man. Thank you for your service, man. Thank you for what you've done, sir. But just you know, indeed. Don't 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 feel indeed. yourself that that amazingly, man. Like, yo, we uh, everybody knows who you are, but nobody's like trying to I mean, run up on you like really, that. No one cares in the land. No one cares, about dude. Ryan Coogler or whatever his name is. Nope. Nobody, who stole my nobody ideas cares. From Luke cool. But no, nobody cares. So indeed, too cool uh, though. Yeah, too indeed. It's a segue, regular dude. Also, before we continue, yo, let's give Carl his flowers once again, man, because Carl is doing an excellent job with this podcast, uh, putting it oh, together shit. artwork and all, all the all this shit. Like Carl, once again, he came to me and uh, he offered to edit the podcast, uh, and he's been amazing, uh, bringing this shit all together in full circle. Every week, you know what I'm saying? So we just give Carl his flowers and his praises, dude. The crowd goes crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. And we, we made it Thank to you. episode 40, yo. 40. Episode 40. That's crazy. 40. I'm 40. <laughs> yeah, 40. <laughs> Fucking yeah. 40. So, so Primo, 40, Jab, Primo Jab mentioned earlier that Pete Rock was going a little bit nuts. And and I kind of dug in. Do you want to kind of set it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took I screenshots of, of yeah. Hip Hop DX. Yo, man, okay. I, I don't have no yeah, what's so, happening. Go ahead. All you right, smiling all right, real hard man. about this. Because, man, it's, it's just, you know, it's it's hilarious, <laughs> man. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Know. 
So M80. Uh, RM80. And, I said yeah. RM80. Mm-hmm. RM80. Yeah, because like there's different M80s in different it's different genre of music. Underground hip hop M80 is an A and R. For yeah, that, that, of, that's the only yeah. one. And who's the other ones? You're talking uh, our like, like M80, a, yeah. not R as in the letter M80, right? Oh, yeah, R. You're meaning uh, our uh, M80. Anyway, as but in the see, underground. y'all going down this underground. semantics hole. <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> there we go. I, yeah, I man. Did, so the no dude, go ahead. Uh, Markoff, M80 Markoff, yeah. all right? Matthew Markoff. And Cannabis. Jewish. Yeah, M80. yeah, that dude. Yeah. So him and Cannabis uh, just put out an EP. Another was, EP, another one. Yeah, supposedly it was called the C, and supposedly it was produced by Pete Rock. But today, okay. um, and today being Thursday, May nineteenth, uh, oh lord, they there was a a lawsuit or something filed against cannabis in M eighty Marco by Pete Rock as a cease and desist in a defamation oh, suit oh, because oh. he said that. That album is trash and he never wanted to be he never would have be involved with that. He don't know anything about that. He uh he would never make beats that are whack as that. He can't <laughs> believe that they would put his name attached to anything like that. Yo, what? I mean these are these are vile he would never, vitriolic ever, ever, words never, being ever. said. He would never ever yo, I can't no one would be a, a part of that. That's just that's terrible. Call it whack as shit. M80 said, hold on, man. Why is Peter talking this way to all of you? He said, first Peter? of all, <laughs> yeah, yes, he man. said Peter. Oh. M80 is the is a killer clapback. I'm fucking M80. with M80. I'm fucking oh, with no. M80. Heavy off Trust me, I got M80. I got screenshots to read about all this. this yo, because you got to hear some of this shit word for word. Hey, yo, yo, but look, M80, if you watching this, you <laughs> sometimes, bro. Yo, M80, well, you yo, go you're on. hilarious. Go ahead, go, 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 keep going, keep going, guys. Yo, keep but going. anyway, like I said, man, Buddy he said, did. he said, why, he said, Peter, why are you talking to these people this way? Why are you telling the fans this? He's like, he's like, yo, everybody. And then he just had screenshot after screenshot of text messages where he would be like, yeah, this is Pete Rock. So Pete Rock said he's Payment mad receipts. at me, first of all, because <laughs> I didn't give him, I, gave, I didn't give him $10,000 that he wanted. Uh, originally, he only made X amount of beats or whatever, and he didn't get the 10000 but he agreed to whatever he was given, right? And M80 just kept showing the, the text messages between him, Pete Rock's manager, and Pete Rock saying, yep, oh, I'm sending over two beats. Oh, okay, this is going to be the amount that I'm sending you for this. Okay, great. We sent you this. Dates, all of that stuff. But it was all there. But today, for whatever reason, and I guess this has been happening over the past week, unbeknownst to <laughs> us. Pete Rock has been on some shit like, yo, I don't know what this is. That's not me on there. That's a robot on there. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so <laughs> I, I want to read some of these it, out. But it's all his beats. <laughs> it, and it's like, I, it made he got all the receipts, Joe. It's crazy. He's like, why, I think, why are you acting wait, like wait, this, Pete Rock? Over $2,000? Wait, so I, I want to read some of these screens that I that I pulled. Uh, and this yeah, is off yeah, of Hip Hop DX. Them. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I think what this comes down to is a dispute. He wanted three thousand more dollars. And because M eighty wasn't gonna pay him any extra money, um, he got upset. And so he just decided he was gonna act up and act crazy. So um it says Pete Rock threatened with lawsuit uh, after he denies producing cannabis EP. Uh, speaking to Hip Hop DX, uh, like, Markoff went happening? into detail about the transaction he said took place. He also pointed out Rock didn't just deny he produced two <coughs> beats on the CEP. He later said he didn't rap on the album either, saying yeah. the voice people heard was a robot. That was a robot. Pete Rock said this a, a robot. Quote from they used a robot. Okay. This entire charade Pete Rock started online is literally the wildest thing I've seen in my 15 plus years as an executive in the industry, he told DX. That's M80? Yeah, M80 said said this. From Pete claiming he didn't produce the two beats featured on the EP to him not rapping the vocal contribution to the EP and it being that of a robot, just wild. I wish I had that kind of imagination. So Pete Pete Rock's post on Twitter was I would never, this is all capitals. 
I would never, ever, ever, never, ever produce something that sounds this bad. Oh, my God. This is a thirsty move by cannabis people, but he don't sound good on it. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Y'all got to stop being so thirsty and disrespectful, man. <laughs> That's how you keep running in the mud. This is super trash. And it's got a picture of the album with his yeah. name on it, right? Yeah, produce P. Okay. Rock. And here's the best so, part, though, Carl. Here's the best part. Hold on. I, I, let me yeah. just interrupt real quick. So no, on no, no, Pete go. Rock's uh, <laughs> Instagram, he used to have posts, apparently, of the cannabis album. But so he, he deleted did. them. Yeah, but he deleted them. They're gone now. Yeah. But, but they continue, Carl. Something? I didn't. Tell, I, I didn't know about this. Uh, this fantastical uh, conf- confrontation that was happening until today. So no, I didn't do my my research and I'm gonna find the page because <laughs> this motherfucker is a legend. This motherfucker. Oh, I trust. I him. trust what M80's you, saying, Joe. Wait, to be M80 honest, so is a lawyer and he has his paperwork right all the time. Right. And he teaches right. you how so, to get his paperwork right. So there you go, Carl. He replied to to Pete Rock. Because um, one of his fans said, that's not you? Damn, I was wondering. Pete Rock replied, hell no. Hell Man, no. Sheet, I'm, I'm never Shit. ever going to re- misrepresent myself in this game ever. They will do it for me. So M80 responded with, don't front uh, for your fans, Peter. And then he reposted. Oh, my God. <laughs> he reposted a, a tweet that he had put earlier <laughs> saying... <laughs> Thank God I will never be as corny as Pete Rock. First suing Nas, then saying he didn't authorize right. the EP with Dereal Cannabis. Wow. Um, that oh. I paid him for and have the bank receipts, production sign-off, and guest yeah. artist sign-off memo for. Tried to get me to pay him an extra 3K or he act out. Um, and then he, he actually has a screenshot in that of yep. uh, Pete Rock's cell phone. It's all there. Uh, where it says, out of respect, you beat me for two beats. Um, out of respect, you should pay me 3K more. You know coming from... And this is kind of weird because there's a blue line over it. Um, coming at me for something something is extra low. Uh, the signature is not to get 10K for a whole album for cannabis. Uh, you want to stay in biz with me? You got to respect me and stop trying to uh, get over on me, 80. You know this is not cool, and you should honor what I'm asking. You got 10K to pay, so pay me 3K more, and I won't feel like an a- such an asshole dealing with you. Mm. Yep. Mm. Um, but that's Pete Rock. That stuff. So but Pete Rock said out. he but never talked to him. Yeah, M80 M80 doubles M80. down. <laughs> M80 doubles down and says, I will give Pete Rock $1 million if any part of my story um, or actual my actual receipts, sign-offs, etc. are fake. Now talk Mm. that shit, Pete. Mm. Instead, you're now going to come off the bag in court (laughs) for trying to defame mine and his name and character. And you know, M80 is uh, 100% will do that. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a given. Go ahead, yeah, man. So that's, this hey, is crazy. That's that. That's what happened, man. That's it. So that's that's the headline. We, we we can we can catch up with that later on, man. That's that's the recap. You know. Oh, Shout yeah, out that's that's the finale is Pete Rock. Pete Rock blocked him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, the no. Okay, one thing about M80 is uh, M80. M80 I'm gonna say this in all due respect. M80 can be a scumbag. He can be a definitely scummy motherfucker, but it's only when he has that one leg up when he knows he's 100% right, which a lot of times, since he, he teaches you how to do your paperwork and stuff like that, he, he can really be a scumbag. This right here is 100% probably correct. Mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I don't believe that M80 would... It's too random I, of, a, of a situation... Yeah. Uh, how I do mean, you, how like do you I said, sue man. somebody in court? Yeah, and and you if know they, you did it. Like you know you, know you, you were it. involved in the brazen. project. You signed well, the fucking guest log. He probably gonna try to take it as far as he can, and then when he sees that they're not gonna back off, he's gonna try to settle out or something with them, and they ain't gonna settle. They'll if probably settle for won nothing. This shit, yo. Yeah, he already if, won. It's M80 somebody, somebody steering Pete in the wrong direction. 
Why would they make an album that said produced by P Rock if P Rock ain't put any beats yeah. on there? And then they tried to say the that uh, the beats were actually Fleas beats or something like that. Um, all si- it's all sorts of weird, man. It's M80 all sorts of weird. Teaches you, M80 teaches you how to how the uh, producers and he teaches you all this shit. If every anybody out out out, out there uh, knows M80, M80 will get your paperwork correct for you. So you won't get taken advantage of. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And he's gonna make sure. Uh, this might be one of the verses that um that um uh M80 has a whole bunch of verses or had a whole bunch of verses. Yeah, that that's sold. a part of his game. So yeah, yeah, definitely. So that that verse might be a verse that he had in one of these, like I guess, uh vocal farms, I I would call, that actually was already paid for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That has been signed off for. That he put on this album, it could have been one of those right there. But it made he has one hundred percent rights to the to the verse. Mm-hmm. You can't sue. You can't. You cannot beat M eighty. That's one of the things that I admire about this motherfucker <laughs> so much. This motherfucker got his shit tight, and he'll teach you how to get your shit tight. Pause. So big up to M eighty. I love Pete Rock, but there's there's no way in hell that M eighty put this shit out not to make money off of it and win. M80 could put a whole album out full of noise and still make money off that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. I did not know none of this shit. None of this shit. I missed all this shit. Thank you so much, fellas. Yeah, man. All types of stuff been happening, man. You know, all types of things. Shit's fucked up. What else we got, though? Big up to M80. That's my dude. I'm finna the call. I'm not gonna call. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text him and be like, yo, you a legend. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the entertainment. Salute yeah. to that, man. You know, I wish him... Uh, Prosperity. His business, his success, business, man. His business. Whatever you want to say about him, because I know a lot of people think he's a scumbag. You know what I'm saying? The way he handled one of my friends, it's fucked up, bro. It may, you already know it made it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But his business shit, he'll get you right. You know, teach you how to do the business right. They flew this man over to uh overseas to go about his little uh contract for music and shit. So he do his shit right. You know what I'm saying? Boom. <laughs> I, and I'm shit. not. I'm not going to say this is right or wrong, but record company executives, agents, lawyers—it's kind of the nature of the business, right? I yeah. mean, have you ever met a really successful lawyer that was super nice? Have you ever met a car salesman that told the truth? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if if M80 is in that business and he's been in that business 15 plus years and been successful. Yeah. Right. Got to pay for that Maybach somehow. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm just saying though. You know, yeah, he's going to be he's an asshole. Money. And he's going to take advantage of situations, and that's what they fucking do. I love if he gives back at all and teaches people, that's fucking good on him. But you know, that mm-hmm. would be unusual for a record company executive. In indeed, but in this case right here, uh, from what I gather, M80 truly has a love for cannabis. And he started, he wanted to work with him again and make him money because he loves his music. You know what I'm saying? If anybody knows M80 and Canada's relationship, they was making money together and they came back and they made money again. So I don't think that uh, he's doing this just to really, uh, he's doing it for one, because he want, he likes the music. Two is him and Cannabis are friends, they're really pals. So I do not think that, yeah, they Cannabis would not be back making music again if it was with M80. You know what I'm saying? Word. I bet that on my Cliff Pauls and Chris Pauls. Yeah. <laughs> they came back. <laughs> <laughs> the damn incense. Incense. Yeah. Yep. African vagina. Yep. Yeah. Caucasian coochie. Oh, wow. He got <laughs> flavors. Black booty. Oh, black Asian <laughs> ass. Oh, yikes. Yeah. I nice. don't know. Nice. Yeah. What else we got though today? Uh, I know uh, the Buffalo shooting happened. Do 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 do, and then all of a sudden Freddie Gibbs got beat up in Buffalo. No, it happened. It, it almost actually it happened. I believe on the same day, which is crazy. Think, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. First off, first and foremost, man, you know, as far as that Buffalo shooting goes, man, ain't no, ain't no making light of that. Ain't no, uh, ain't no downplaying that. Um, I feel like that's um a, a, another egregious act of terror that's happened in America almost two years to the day to when they killed Ahmed Aubrey. Um, mm. You know, 
so many bogus things happen in this incident. And it's just now the way that is being disseminated to people. It's it's coming in these quick bites like on the Internet. You're seeing it and you and it's it's dehumanizing what actually fucking happened. Like this is the biggest massacre of black people since fucking Rosewood in Florida. Right. You know what I mean? So this is a, a major situation that happened. It's it's disgusting that there are people, for example, uh, they showed some uh, little group thread that was happening on Facebook where some correctional officers were posting pictures of the uh, the the grocery store, the Topps grocery store with uh, captions that were saying clean up on aisle four. Wait, no, aisle five. No, oh, aisle 11, 17. And then having a little uh, all their names are there and I got the picture of it. So I'll share them if anybody asks. But all their names are there where they're uh, they all left laughing emojis. And, and the one guy who posted it said, what, too soon? And they're all uh, Great Lakes re- or yeah, I guess Great Lakes region because it's New- northern New York. There are people who work in law enforcement up there that are making light of that situation and thought that was hilarious. And that's disgusting. It's they people. Want that, that, though. Uh, of course, of course they want that. But I mean, just think about it, man. It's this is this is people that just wanted to go get milk, just wanted to go pick up random dumb shit. Was just Shopping going for church, just going out. Yeah, Sunday dinner, just coming home, just quick stops by the store. That could be anybody. That's as Literally, human as he, that's what was happening. That's I wonder as human was shopping as he gets, for church. Man. Come yeah. on, B. That's as human as it gets, man. And and this this scumbag, this motherfucker got to walk up in the store, shoot at motherfuckers, look at a motherfucker, say, oh, sorry, not you. To the white gentleman and then continued to shoot everybody else. The the, the manager called 911 and the 911 people got rude to her and told her, why are you yelling at us? What do you mean? People are being shot. It's disgusting what's going on up there, man. It's just uh, another they, incident. They treated him like he was part of the police force. Yeah, Patted oh yeah, him took him out. So he gently. had a gun in his hand. They, he uh, uh, miraculously did not get shot. No, nope. this gentleman miraculously nope. did not get shot. No, nope. not a scratch on him. No, nope. they made sure he <sighs> was completely unharmed. And he, and he unharmed. live-streamed the whole shit. You know, I don't know, man. You know, I, I, I don't. I just wanted to make sure that there was enough proper. Uh, attention devoted to this man you know it it's this is a moment in infamy and i feel like it should be treated as such and i don't think uh people really are understanding it is i think there were people that were more outraged about motherfucking will smith slapping chris rock than there are people who are talking about this shit right now this buffalo yep. shit so yep i agree you know um, what i mean that shows me your true colors man but anyway i digress r.i.p oh. to y'all people we, your memory lives on We'll remember you, Buffalo Worldwide, you know. Hey, salute. But yeah, man. Oh, yeah. And it's on a side note, it's whack that it took 20 motherfuckers to, to jump Freddie Gibbs like that, Joe. That was yeah. kinda, <laughs> that was kind of that's an L, hey. but you know, that's yeah. a that's a totally different thing, you know. Now, now uh New Face posted, that's where I found out Freddie Gibbs got jumped. Uh and he posted Pray for Buffalo yeah. on his page. And um our Candace Owens was talking about that the left was trying to use this as a narrative for gun control. She's a dumbass. Uh, yeah, she's this silly. this this shit right here. The difference is between people. They talk about black on black violence and black on black crime, which is not really existent because it's white on white crime on there all the time. People rob and kill people uh, within their close vicinity. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean. There's certain places that are, I mean, different, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you rob people that are around you. If you're impoverished, you don't really go to, you're robbing people and doing stuff in your own community. Because that's Unless you community. live in a half gentrified neighborhood, then you you'll go. see those or, crimes. But yeah, I digress. Like, oh, oh yeah, boom, so, like, say, my city is close to Midtown. Boom, we go into Midtown, we go into uh, Bucket. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's what it is. But um, it's still, yeah, crimes, crimes of uh, proximity. You know. Proximity. Uh, the big difference, which people sometimes don't, those people don't get, is uh, boom. If someone right now, I have an argument with them, I fuck somebody's girlfriend, 
or uh, I rob him still in the car and I get shot, or I, I have an incident with Rose Rage and I get shot. At least I had an opportunity to argue with this motherfucker and get somebody mad before they kill me. Boom. You just really having a, a, a walk and someone kills you for no fucking reason. That is terrifying. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Even though it's not really going to happen like that really in Georgia, I don't think, because everybody's armed. Texas, I've been thinking everybody's about armed. That. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom. Yeah, so the, so the, the, there's a great chance someone might get a lucky shot off if someone has body armor. You get a headshot, boom, the game's over. Because you go to the grocery store, people are strapped. I see people strapped all the time. In the I, I, I keep it. So, yeah. so that's has, good. Has go there, ahead, Carl. Has there ever been a time that you can recall where a black man has gone into a white community or a, a, a pr- primarily white business and massacred white people? Has what? that ever happened that you can... Well, Not massacred. Just happened Muhammad once or twice. Mal- Malvo. Yeah, Malvo. And yeah, Malvo black. and Muhammad. They knew John Muhammad was black. Know why? He took off the weekends. That's what they said. <laughs> Yeah. Don't laugh. I mean, I just it seems Racism. like it it's seems funny, like this but is, is it? It is. This is a it one is. sided <laughs> thing yeah, though, is. primarily. Yeah, but no, I don't yeah. think so, Carl. I, I know what you're saying, though, Carl. I know what you're saying. The black guy who killed another black guy. He didn't kill white guys. He killed the old black man that went on the run. Well, I mean, even just mass shootings in general. I mean, who oh. is it typically that's doing it? Uh crazy yeah. fanatic. No, I mean that's it that white demographic seems to be tipped typically uh yeah white males of various ages for listeners i was rubbing my pasty skin yeah but i mean you know hold on and i think that's another thing that as as we're getting into (laughs) this new space of this new this new consciousness that we all think it there's a difference between being a white person and the white man and there's a difference between being a, a white guy and the white man like we are most of us don't like the white man, you know what I mean? But the a, a white dude, I don't care about, you know, that's that's neither no, here nor there I, I again. You know what that. I mean? So I just want to make sure that disclaimer is clear, man, because as you all know, my my bias is, is simple. It goes either you cool or you ain't, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yep, but and my, then, my point more is yeah, whack <clears throat> or not whack, you know, but continue. I'm sorry, Carl. My, my point is, though, we we seem to just kind of brush these things under the rug like it's not a big deal yeah i mean people want to deny that there is racism you know people want to oh you know you need to give it up it's 2022 blah blah like this kind of shit happens like all the fucking time and it's it's one way it's not you know you're not seeing a rash of of black men you know shooting up movie theaters and fucking grocery stores and schools and shit, right? It's it's fucking introverted white kids that that are like on these fucking websites that are feeding them all kinds of weird fucking white supremacy bullshit, right? Like, I mean, statistically that's what we're dealing with. True indeed. Isn't that like an epidemic? Isn't that something we should fucking give a shit about? Mm, yes. Um, but Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yes, but 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 um a lot of times the facts are deflected to someone else for a different narrative. Um for one, the justice system doesn't look at them the same way as they look at us because we're fed we're fed so much disinformation. Um like uh for example, when people get pulled over, uh and question the search for drugs, uh, I think it's like a, a crazy number, like 45% of the time, the black people aren't found with drugs and the white people are. But we get searched more than white people. You know what I'm saying? So it might not be a crazy type of drug. It might just be weed. But yeah, but the fact... Maybe they just get really, really lucky on the select white people they pick. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> they need to play the lottery then. Uh, give me the numbers. Hey, yo, <laughs> give, me the numbers. give me the numbers. I need the numbers. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, here's what's fucked up to me. It's like, we are forced just to smile and move forward. We just gotta just smile and move forward. And 
That's one of the reasons why I do not want to leave Atlanta, Georgia or leave the confines mm. of a big city. I feel like my daughter is safe here. Around the gays and Safer. the black people. In the in the cool even the the people on the far right that live here, they ain't doing shit. They yeah, ain't on it like team. that. Yeah. No. Nah, I, I will safe. say though, one of one of the nice things about Atlanta, at least progressively over the years, diversity has spread outside the city dramatically. So sure there are a lot of and, and we've talked, Atlanta has a lot of suburbs um that are mm. tightly packed around Atlanta. But also Pause. that spread out from it quite a bit. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Um, I'm sorry, for but, you but <laughs> no, no, no. But but that that diversity but, is but, definitely but, spreading. But well, that's fine. It, it definitely is. Uh, Fayette, Fayetteville was bad. Fayette, Fayette County, right? Fayette, Fayette County. Fayette that's County. what it is. It's pretty yeah, bad. Up north. You know what I'm saying. But now it's getting Forsyth. better. Forsyth. Uh, yeah, Na- Brazelton. I didn't. I didn't realize there was that many black people out there until like it started getting hot. I'm seeing kids ride around on their bikes and shit. I'm like, the kids still got bikes? Okay, cool. That, Good. Oh, shit. Kids need and to so, have, be able to explore, man. They need to be able to indeed. ride bikes and shit, man. True indeed. Um, Buffalo, let's continue in there to the Buffalo where Freddie Gibbs did get beat, beat up. Uh, he, did. he got jumped. Yes. And then he still went on and rapped that night, though, man. So, you know. But what is the best thing about that right there? I, that that he went up and rapped that night. I think nah, that's the nah. best. He he won. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's not the best thing. What what? The best thing ain't no one got murdered. Oh no yeah, no yeah, no tra- nobody got nobody. yeah. Nobody. Yeah. You know what I mean? The violence. Hey, the, the violence didn't happen there. That is true. You know, I I do. I'm cool with that. You know, uh, you know, like I said, the fact that Freddie got to get up and still spit that night obviously they didn't get down on him that hard i mean he got a couple lumps on his face but he he all right you know it's it's unfortunate that freddie gibbs and benny uh aren't gonna get along and that freddie gibbs ain't getting along with that whole side of the world man because i mean frank lucas is one of my favorite songs man you know i mean i I love that song but at least we got that so he lied though oh well Benny, Benny lied in that song because he said, never talk to L, but a few lost to mine. He said in Dirty Negro, mm. Negro, d- d- order to win, you got to handle the losses. Or not, I know how to lose or whatever. So he took losses, but in that song he said, never t- took an L. You're lying, Benny. You're lying. I have the receipt. Dirty Negro <laughs> and Frank Lucas. Oh, Lucas. no. Yeah, you're lying. Yeah. Word, word, mm. word. By the way, uh, this Saturday, Griselda's going to be here. here. Hey, uh, are you, uh, <laughs> are, 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 are any of y'all going, are y'all going to Griselda? I ain't got to take it. I can't yet. make it. You ain't going? I might go. I Maybe. Can't make it. I'm gonna see if they got tickets uh, on the uh, on the um, thing. We get off here. I, I I've been working so hard, bro. I kind of forgot about it, Paul. Working so hard. That's not no Paul. I'm waiting for uh, next week. You know the I'm yeah, going to the apple Prime Apple. Demand. Yeah, that's my yeah supply and mm-hmm. demand. I'm I'm hanging out there. I want. I mean, yep, don't me get me too. wrong. You know, I like I I love a, a good Griselda show, but it's just like damn. I, I haven't mean, went to a Griselda show yet. Oh really? Nah, oh man, I, mean, I I saw him in Chicago a couple mm-hmm. of times, and uh, yeah, I saw them once down here. Too. No, I saw him in Chicago because I missed him down here. But yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's a good show. It's it's Stone worth guys it. Gonna be there. Stove Rome, Amani Caesar gonna be there. Got bits <laughs> on Cash App. <laughs> you just I get off her neck, man. She bro, too, man, hey, whatever. Man. I mean. <laughs> she, the, the, it, the list, the list maybe two she is coming. maybe she got the limit up. Oh yeah, I know the Liz two coming. I can't wait. You know I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, right, right after detox. Maybe, maybe she I was hope doing it's it good. They put I it hope in. it's good. What'd what, you say, what Carl? Maybe she was doing it before they put a limit. Who? Mm. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 on the cash yeah, app, yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. Man, yeah. Nah, man, they had a limit before <laughs> she said that. Maybe the verse was put out. But why would you want to get it tracked? I don't want to get into this. She makes no, me No, we're mad. not going to talk about this, man. You keep you bringing it that, up. Man. Forget, forget that, man. No, man. You're okay, right, yeah, we so you said the Liz. Hold on, <laughs> yeah, man. You already put You already put it. You going to see what, when it's going to come out? Supposedly, it said coming soon. It doesn't have a date. Yeah, it just says coming soon. Oh. You're going to get Love Genius, Amani Caesar, uh, China Streets, Shay Noor. Have a new triumph. 
What? That's the that's the new triumph. No, we're gonna have like a triumph song. Like everybody gets spit bars, and then all of a sudden we're gonna have somebody say, "It's like a continue Liz two, Liz two. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna let y'all get down on Armani like that. Armani, go crazy, man! Please, please don't make me a fool, because I know you. Look, oh, speaking of, hold on, man. Like, let me take this. Let me take this time, man. I'm gonna come out in front of all of you all and say, oh. you know. I, pause. Yeah, exactly. Pause. Don't, <laughs> hey, man, you ain't got to analyze my words, man. But look, what I'm going to say is this, Metaphor. man. You right. know, previously, you might have noticed that um I had got down on Nas uh, in, in a very unkind way. And um I don't want it to go without being said that Nas is one of the greatest MCs ever. And he's very influential in my life. Uh, Illmatic is one of the dopest albums of all time. I don't ever want it to come across like there was any sort of disrespect said towards Nasir Jones. Um, I think I should be allowed to have my opinion on my taste of his matchups and his uh, songs that he may have made with people. You know, that's that's what people uh, should have the right to do to critique art. But at the same time, I don't I don't want anybody to ever misinterpret my opinion as being some sort of slight or hatred towards that man and his and his uh, contributions to this culture of ours. Never, never think I don't honor who he is. But I can feel how I feel about it. Did and y'all know y'all, y'all do. No, no, no. I just wanted to put that out there, man, because I was looking at some of the older episodes and it and uh, I do there was I did a comment kinda, that somebody called I, us out. Yeah, I saw that. And you know, I did kind of come off like I don't want it to come off like I was some dude like <laughs> trying to diss, like, yeah, nah, is he all right? He only okay. Like, come on, man. I, who 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 would be that person? I would never be that person. And I mean Oh, you never like Nas? Yeah, no, right. Like come Nas. on. No, I no, like I wasn't Nas. talking to you. No, I wasn't talking to you. I was right. just saying, like, you come on. Who who is that person that'd be like, oh yeah, Nas, yeah, he was he's okay. Yeah, yeah, he's, I'm gonna show you something. He, he fell off after this song. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, you something. You ain't never I'm gonna, gonna say I'm that, gonna, man. Come on, I'm man. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you something. Okay, boom. But I, 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 right I that was it. That was my little message. That's all I had to give. Okay, boom. What's that? It's right here. Firewater. No, it's yeah, it's Mike's Hall Lemonade in there. Oh so you, shit! <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm gonna show you. So boom, you got this Mike's Hall lemonade. It's 100 percent of Mike's Hall lemonade, okay. and that's how it starts out, right? So you got this water. You're putting it in there. So what are you doing to the Mike's Hall lemonade? Diluting and you put more and more in there. You're diluting it. So like boom, it's just not Mike's Hall lemonade no more. When you keep on putting this water in there, like. It's not gonna taste the same when you keep on putting this water in there. You just it's just not. It's, this is are, a skip by the way, probably that now. Nas has been probably, watered down. Nas, yeah. is, Nas has been diluting his catalog for a very long time. Ghostface Killer has been diluting that Mike's Hall Lemonade for mm. a very for even though that last joint he came out with after a while it sounded good. But music is so music is so subjective. To me, it might be watered down. People might love this hit boy shit. I don't. Yeah, a lot of people do. I mean, I just didn't. It didn't really do. I mean, I kind of skip past the songs when they come on my random. Man, you know, that I'm, first I mean, song. Yeah. He, got he a was couple, the problem I had with that album. Like, it wasn't Nas. It, it, you know, no. I mean, <laughs> like I said, man. I yeah. yeah. See, why, I don't want, well, yeah, I mean, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Man, we, we already, you know, we already talked about this, man. People, you you can listen. You can We're like. We're ruining your apology. <laughs> no, it ain't. I'm the, first of all, I ain't apologizing. I'm just, I'm clarifying. I'm clarifying my position and cementing my position. Uh, but yeah, you. man, to move, moving forward, like I said, there is no slander towards Nasir Jones or any of his contributions to this culture from me, but I do have my opinions on how certain projects of his come out. Period. So, but that's like it. you said, hip hop is subjective. That's all I said. There's nothing, yeah. There you go. And like, there's nothing true, or nothing like in concrete. Everything is opinion based. And like, whatever you like, whatever you don't like. Uh, I like yeah. a lot of different genres of music. So sometimes the hip hop that I like does not even sound like hip hop to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Also, like, like I said, there's nothing yep. true. Or there's no fact left to prove it through science and mathematics. I'm saying so, boom. You can think that NBA young boy is the best rapper ever. I think he sounds just like fucking Little Dirk or all these other dudes. I, I think they sound the same. Also, uh, 
Shout out to uh, Little Meech for trying to sell watches. Yeah, yeah, or whatever. Little Meech, big up to that dude. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all don't know about Little Meech? Big Meech. Like son. BMF? Yeah. Uh, he stole a Richard Miller. Mueller. How you say it? Um, he Mueller. stole a watch. Oh, yeah, he, okay, boom. He bought the watch. No, first he tried to trade it. I was about to say, they don't, he don't need Richard to steal. Mueller. Yeah, but he tried to, he uh, traded it in his, his Rolex to get a Richard Mueller for like $250, $250,000. So then he tried to sell that watch to someone else to trade it. From the, he got locked up and he got bailed out too. But yeah, he's facing 60 years in jail for the wire fraud and shit. Jesus. Like, it's like, yo. Wow, dude, just a, a watch trade? Yeah, but it was fraud, some type of fraud. And he's getting fucking, yeah, he's getting, yeah, he's on TMZ and all type of shit. He got locked up. His mugshot is on there too. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, everybody trying to get something for nothing, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't have to do that shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't there's just, it has to be deeper than that because that just seems weird. A lot of people who go That's to a different lot of weird countries, activities. Yes, indeed. A lot of people want to go to different countries. Um, instead of having cash on them, they have watches, uh, diamonds, gold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's how they, because that currency right there is traded all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's not going to lose devalue. You know what I'm saying? You got cash, you have to exchange it. Uh, you're not going to get that much, especially if you have a trading currency. But gold, diamonds, watches, you go and get the same amount. You know what I'm saying? Word. Any mm -hmm. country. You know what I'm saying? Trade that shit. Get it back. Like, boom. So, that's why a lot of people that go uh, travel abroad have that shit. Am I wrong, Carl? No. 100%. Okay. Okay, okay. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, okay. yeah. Once again, Carl is my phone a friend. Where, and if you don't know, <laughs> I'm asking his wife. Yeah. <laughs> you get a phone call one day. Hey, you put Erica on the phone real quick. <laughs> She said she, uh, we were actually talking about you today, and she said that she uh, had wow. a couple of, of bands that she wanted you to check out. And mm -hmm. uh, she was like, I'm going to have to give them to you so you can send them. And I was like, you can just send them. Oh, and she was wait. like, oh, I didn't want him to think it was weird that I, you know, your your wife is sending him stuff. And I was like, shut up. Just send them, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so, <Shut> up. <clears throat> um, but it's it's actually Mike Patton. And Mike, Mike Patton, Patton was the lead singer of Faith No More. He was also in a band called Mr. Bungle, Tomahawk. Uh, he did one project that was all, like, all the, the musical tracks were all him making noises into microphones. Oh. Like, he's a really weird dude, but he's got a rap project. He's got a metal project. He's got a weird, like, ambient project. He does all this different stuff, oh. and it's just from this... This one guy working with all these other people. That's so up, man. Faith No More was was the band in the early '90s that kind of made him famous, but okay. he's always been involved in these other weird projects and worked with all these weird people. And so she's gonna send you some shit. I just love yo. I like I like I like weird stuff. Like I like weird noises and sounds. Um, yeah. Like yeah, one of my best friends put me onto a lot of like '70s Japanese techno and all type of stuff. Uh, shout out to Brock Landis. Uh, the first song I heard from him is called Distortions. And it comes on with these weird dun-dun, 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 dun-dun. It's like, sounds wild. And sometimes it fucks with your ears. But, um, yeah. And I loved it. I thought it was the most genius shit I ever heard in my whole entire life. And uh, my one of my good friends, Icky Slick, he was like, the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, so that's that's what I'm on, yo. I need to drink some of this. I'm feeling kind of weak right now. Drink some of this. Yeah, yeah, you've been out in. running around hooping and yeah. shit, man. So, yeah. Probably dehydrated. Yeah, I'm, slept I'm three having hours in the last either. 24. Yeah, I haven't had anything to eat yeah, yeah. break, which is uh 250. And it's hot in here. Yeah. At least I didn't get uh the police didn't tap on me. Yeah. That's good. Word. That's, yeah, that's good, y'all. What else we got? Oh, once again, the um the twenty sixth. This is airing on a Tuesday, the twenty sixth, Crime Apple. Mm -hmm. You Atlanta? Come out to the Crime Apple show. We'll yeah. get to meet us. Tomorrow. All three of us. We'll be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 
Yep. Bunch of us would be there. Well, so well, hope the good good Cypress Hill, Cypress Hill, and Onyx had a, a versus battle, sure. and no one got to see it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was because they I didn't put it, was it on IG. Catch up they in made the first a pay per view, and yeah. and Be Real that was sucks. upset about it. He even said something because he was like, you know, it felt like we were just a side act to the fight, whereas Be all real the and... other verses were an event. Yeah, Be Real from Cypress Hill. Yeah, it was under going up. Go ahead. No, I, I mean it. It it definitely seemed like it was put together like kind of afterthought. Like, yeah, you know what? Let's. Let's have an Onyx and a Cypress Hill show. Essentially, it's that's all. That's what it was, because there was no reason for them to be matched up against each other. It was just an opportunity to get both of them on a stage, and the stage happened to be the versus platform to get more eyes to see this show. Because you know, I mean, people turn wanna... in to watch Cypress Hill, and then Onyx. Oh shit, Onyx. Yeah, some people turn in to watch that, but. We couldn't see it because it was pay for play, which was whack. It, you if know? you're going to do a concert before or after the fight, then do a concert. Why did it have to be a versus? Why did it have to be and a you versus? You could have easily had, versus. you know, Onyx and Cypress Hill co-headline the the performance. You know, that's fine. Why did it have to be a versus? And if it was going to be a versus, why wouldn't you get people involved? Why wouldn't you have that on yeah. IG? It just it makes no sense at all. It was it was it was definitely yeah, done wrong. It was done wrong, man. It it really was. Cypress Hill about legends. It. Yeah, so exactly. Indeed. Well, they knew only because people were like, it was talked about. I feel like yeah, I don't I think it was, it was talked about up. to the extent like you know Gucci versus Jeezy or mm-hmm. something like that. I think everybody feels like they're gonna try to catch up to or try to catch to that one because you know that's the verses of verses, right? Or as far yeah. as good music verses, like uh. Erica Badu, Jill Scott. Erica Badu, Jill Scott was good. Um, I, I I love the KRS one, Big Daddy Kane one. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean the dip set box. Obviously, that's the that was. You know, I think that's the that's one. the that's that, monster. That, yeah. You know. Um, yeah, man. Teddy Riley, baby face. I was Teddy Riley, baby. Weird. No, uh, what was it? Uh. Who's you want? No, no. God damn it. Beanie Man and uh, Ma- Bounty Killer. Mm. I didn't see that one. Yeah, Beanie Man and Bounty Killer. Was it Beanie Man? Yeah, it was Beanie Man. I think Beanie it was Man Bounty. And- it was Bounty. It was, um, I'm not sure. Who the fuck I'm not sure. was it? Yeah, I, I don't know, but that, go that to was. Googles. The- yeah, going mm-hmm. to the Googles, man. I'm pretty sure that's it. But anyway, I mean, I don't know, man. You know, the verses got to be like spectacular. You know, I mean, you can't just throw people together just because you say you want to see them together on stage. Like, right. oh, Riz yeah. versus Primo. That, that one, you know what I mean? That was a good one. Um, okay, can you hear me? Yeah, hey, yo, can you hear me? Can you, can you hear my mic? Yeah, hey, yo, yo. Yeah, we hear hey, yo, you. Can you hear me? <laughs> hey, yo, I'm on double. That, 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 oh, yo, fucking Riz. Yeah. Yo, somebody yeah. fix his shit. How you doing? I'm on a bong bong. I'm I'm just gonna bong bong. <laughs> and then he cheated. Oh, man. And he played he played uh Brooklyn Zoo, which he didn't produce. Uh, nice yeah, Beanie Man versus shit. Bounty Killer, man. Oh yeah, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was the that was the one. Yeah. Yeah, man, that shit was crazy. Uh, oh, the fake the other fake versus Ghostface versus Rayquan. Like, come on, that man. Good, that man. was. Oh, you know what I mean? here's Come one on. that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, because they was rapping the song during COVID, and this man was saying the words with his other brother. They both was they each other's hype man, and you didn't even know that they knew each other's songs like that. Then in between songs, they was praising each other, saying it's definitely good to be with you because you a good brother. I'm you know, saying you a solid nigga, and like said, I love you, my dude, and they're saying back. And then, like you said, bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. Said so my wife pisses me off. I play this song in my car real loud. I'm like, what? And DMX was rapping hype man for Snoop Dogg, and Snoop oh, Dogg wow. was rapping ha- hype man for DMX. And I was like, and they didn't have, they wasn't really rapping over. Uh, I think DMX rapped over vocals sometimes, but Snoop Dogg was really rap. I was like, it it was heartfelt to me that that yeah, I did not think. 
Because in all honesty, for about a good five years, DMX was king of the world. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, I was talking to somebody Word. else about mm-hmm. that the other day. Yeah. But the yeah. most popular rapper <clears throat> ever to me, I think might Snoop. be the most recognizable rapper other than Jay Z is Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Dog. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But the Without king doubt. of the world for a long time, the undefeated grand champ was DMX. DMX. And he was I, selling out, have number one movies and stuff. Killing and he people was don't stadiums. That. He yes. was the soup du jour at a time. Just Say like Snoop was. He the was the soup, soup du jour, the soup, the soup of the day. The flavor of the, the day, soup of the man. day. Yeah, right. The soup of the day. So, so he that, was that, for a up. time. But so was Snoop Dogg. <laughs> you sound smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? So Ice Cube, Ice Cube had had his yeah. day in the in the spotlight, right? Yeah, Rappers did. will take that number one spot. Yeah. Who do you consider bigger than Snoop? Only one person. So, but he's not in the limelight. Snoop Dogg is everywhere doing beer Snoop commercials Dogg's and stuff. Everywhere but, he is an uh, he, icon of society. He's the Shaq. He's the Shaq of hip hop. Yeah. yeah, he's like Shaq. Did that makes he's sense? like that big. He's a yeah. Shaq I, is a character like that. Shaq is like yeah. Michael Jordan character level. You know what I mean? But he's even bigger than Jordan technically. You know what I mean? Yeah, like shoes. Jordan changed the whack. game. Jo- Jordan made it so that Shaq could do what Shaq is doing as far as marketing wise. But Shaq's taking it and running. Shaq got his his hand in all types of crazy shit, man. You know so what I mean? Like, down a Krispy Kreme. That's all right. Shaq will rebuild. He'll he'll bring it back. Big D's will bring it back. It'll be cool. Yeah. But I'm putting my money on Calvin Brodus every time. Oh Who's yeah, Calvin the Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Oh, my bad. Shit. Come on, man. No. Everybody. Yeah. Murder, Murder was the, the case, case that they, that they gave me. Everyone knows that's yeah. his name. Um, I mean, I think really what put Snoop over the edge is when he made that those songs with Pharrell. That were more inviting. Um, yeah. yeah. Those crossed Be- over, but beautiful. it's... Beautiful. I don't know, man. I feel like, you know... He's a character, songs. Man. It's it's not just necessarily who made the beat with Snoop. It's just how Snoop gets down on the beat. He just had yeah, like you said, yeah, he he is a character. He has his own energy on all those songs from gin and juice all to beautiful to drop it like it's hot. You ain't gotta be a friend of all yeah. these, but there's you know, these all these different songs, these are different eras of songs mm-hmm. where Snoop oh, I mean Dun, dun, dun. Come on, man. The, the No Limit like, songs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Come on, what, man. Oh, oh girl, he had a huge part in Dre resurging his career. Hey, mm-hmm. man, I'm trying to tell you. Snoop Dogg is... And then you get, you can talk about like all the just random appearances. Snoop Dogg is on a cooking show. Snoop Dogg is, Wait, is hosting this. Snoop Dogg <laughs> has a youth football league. Shout out to Snoop Dogg, mm. man. I mean, come on, man. Like, that's, that's the type of shit. Like, that's he has whole generations of football players that are playing in the NFL. I think we talked mm-hmm. about this before, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, Snoop mm-hmm. Dogg is a he's a legend, man. He he's mm-hmm. easily the, the the greatest rapper of all time as far That's as like, he's done all right for himself. As, yeah, as far right as for himself. You know, yeah, like definitely. the whole all-around package, he's going to go down as one of those dudes, man. Like he has Truly. to. Truly. He's, I he's agree. The face of oh, rapper Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah. Yeah, I know Snoop. <laughs> yeah, I know Snoop. Right. Anyway, but anyway, I digress. But no, speaking of man, uh, the the game said he think he's the greatest rapper of all time because he got his new album coming out. The game, Drillmatic. He says it's going to be the greatest album of the year. He's corny though. <laughs> um, he says he's the greatest. He he shouted out Conway and Benny though. He said, "Yo." They made me know, know and happy that real rap is still out here. And then he just went on to talk about how Drillmatic going to be that shit. You know? So um, that's what he thinks. Um, Drillmatic. Drillmatic. That's the game. I, um, he's, and he's, he said he's mm-hmm. rapping at a rarefied uh, level right now. So I like the game. I like the game. I can't front. Uh, he Droog, fits in this weird spot. Twin D. Droog 
who sound gave I said sounds like Nas. He said something about he sounds like game that I heard it like, oh shit. But game sounds like wow. Nas to me sometimes. Wow. So Drew Nas. But then you get you have Loon, Fabulous, and Mace. <laughs> they sound like Mace. Fabulous sounds like Mace to me sometimes. A better rapping version than Mace. Uh yeah. Drew raps on a lot better beats than Nas in game, but they do have some similarities of words. Mm. I think my comedy wow. sounds like uh, a combination between Black Thought and Yasin Bey, most deaf. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's probably why I That's like interesting. Him so, so much. Because he be singing. Like, I like sing. I got out, out the mud, swear to God. <laughs> swear to God. I got out the mud, yeah, swear yeah. to God. Matter of fact, uh, a couple of days ago was was it yesterday? It was Haitian Flag Day, and um, yeah, one of my coworkers uh, is Haitian, so I kind of stayed away from him because I had a bad experience with Haitians. Even though my comments were my favorite rappers, uh, probably all time. You know what I'm saying, Allah Prem and the Haitians, I think. True indeed, he had Haitian Flag Day up there, so yeah, Allah Prem, shout out to Allah Prem, good brother right there. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, so I, I was like, "Yo, you Haitian man?" He's like, "Yeah." So you ever heard of Makami? He, he said, "No." Nah. So I put him a picture. And I was like, yo, he be rapping in Creole too. And he uses both dialects. I'm like, really? Yeah, here's one of his album cover. And he's like, yo, that's Michelle Burnett. He's like, yeah. So we got all happy. And I played mm. for him Spray for Haiti. And he like fell in love with the songs. And so I said, yo, but don't listen to, you gotta listen to the, all the popular ones because you probably gonna get lost in the, the, all these other albums, yo. Like, <laughs> word. Send him on a weird rabbit hole of Makami. Yeah, then he's gonna be like, this shit's wack. Be. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how people feel knows? about Mock. I don't know. Because some of them albums I don't like. But some of them was like, bang. But he like, a Haitian. Maybe he going to be like, oh my goodness, I didn't know there was this Haitian dude that was rapping like this. And now he going to spread the word of Mock Homie. You know? Maybe. Be, he, he's you the only know. dude that worked to he grabbed the, uh, the Bluetooth and he uh, be playing like, like 90s rap music and shit. So mm. I'm like, yo. So yeah. The 90s live forever. So indeed, so it's me, a Detroit kid, and uh, we play Jay Z all day today, and he's rapping every word. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dang, word, you really about that? He was like, yeah. And he just said, uh, how old are you? I said, 39. I said, he said, bro, I thought you was 19 years old. I was like, what? <laughs> I said, man, I'm 39. I got down here in 01. It's like, word, I got down here in 01 too. I went to Morehouse. I said, yo, I didn't go to Morehouse. Nah, I didn't go to Morehouse. Yeah. Then he said, we, our, our whole story of how we got there to that job is basically the same. We got down here at 01 at the high school. We both went to college. Then this dude named Jay got us the job. That's it. Word. Boom. That's pretty it's cool. It's like you were living the exact same life. Yeah, he's he short, though, and can't <laughs> hoop. So, yeah, what up, Brady? Yeah, word. <laughs> yeah, my bad, Brady. What up, Jay? Yeah, what up, Jay? What up? More, more house brothers. It's dope. Yeah, shout out. Hey, shout out the house, bro. My little cousin just graduated. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, hey, yeah, I went there. Yeah, congratulations to him. Oh, yeah. Word. I just I just went to the Morehouse graduation. Word. Was Bill Cosby was there? He was at Spellman's graduation, I think. He was? Yeah. I thought he was getting on, I thought he was getting on people. Like at Morehouse. Oh, oh wait, he so. may have, you know, hey man, don't look. Hold on, man. I'm, you know, I'm a Morehouse <laughs> brother, but I don't, I don't keep track of all the, the I can tell you who our speaker was four years ago or well, that's, well, actually I could, but no, that, that's neither here nor there. I don't keep track of all that. I don't think Bill Cosby was there. Maybe he was. I feel like that was at Spelman, though. Hey, yo, you wasn't with me while I was shooting in the gym. Is that what he said? No, that's what nah, me, I no. think I think I had Drake or something. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, that? no, no. That's a uh, motherfucking uh, Rick Ross. I think French Drake. Man. Yeah, Rick Ross Kenny and uh, yeah, Drake. Yeah, that's Drake said that in the Rick Ross song. Yeah, bitch, you was with me shooting in the gym. Yeah, that's yeah. the anyway. I digress. Anyway, <laughs> however, shout out to your yeah, <laughs> shout out to your Mo House people. Shout out to the yeah. house. You know, it's what up. But yeah, man. Indeed, yo. Yeah, your boy, man. He be um, people got a lot of. Mixed reviews of um of uh your boy that went there. What's his name? Sean King. I know um 
Great Scott. Yeah, I was there when he was there. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Great Scott, too. Great, great Scott. Scott. That's my man. Yeah. We all went there at the yeah. same time. Well, uh, Great Scott is a good brother, and he's like, to me, one of the best rappers, rapping rappers. Like, he's like KRS1 to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Da 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 ding, da 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 ding, da 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 ding, da 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 ding. Great Scott, we need another album, yo. What's that? You move back here, get some more property, drop some more bars, yo. How about that? So you listen to this, Great he- Scott? Come out he's here, too bro. Busy being a real Probably estate not. mogul. Yeah, he got. He, yeah, he got. Uh, he's at the Memphis Grizzlies game. You know what I'm saying? I think game oh, one wow. or some shit like that in the playoffs and shit, yo. Yeah, yeah that's what's up, man. It, it, yeah, it, oh, you it, see, it, hey, you see, my prediction thus far is still is still progressing. Golden State out there kicking ass. That uh, sure, they they looking like they they the truth, but this is only after one game. But they definitely yeah, played that game pretty confidently. You we know. did, yo. We did. By the uh, time sorry, this come out, yeah. it's two. But, you know, we'll see what yeah, happens. Friday, Friday, got a game tomorrow. I might not even go to work tomorrow, man. I'm not on the schedule. Uh, sorry, Carl, that your Maple Leafs lost another game seven. Uh, we had a conversation about wow. the, the, the disappointment of the Knicks and Maple Leafs. And I'm like, yo, Maple Leafs are playing good. And Carl just immediately dismissed years. it. Yeah. He <clears> just <throat> immediately dismissed 54? the good play. Yeah. Wow. So I believe 66 or 67 was the last championship that Toronto won. Um, you know, I just growing up as a Leafs fan, we get into the playoffs and then typically make an exit after the first round. Um, what, what is the cup? You know, the, the date, but the, I will still the, say the best, best fans ever. You cannot buy Toronto Maple Leaf tickets. You, you got to try to always sold out because they are never ever every game they're sold out. That's good. Yeah. You got a game time app them, and, yeah, and then it'll be like too much money. We, I know we researched yep. uh, ticket prices for um, some game. I forget it was like three thousand dollars for um, court seat, court side. Uh, shout out to Juju Gotti and Makami for being at the game. I believe five. I think it was no, not game five. It was game four. Game might have been game one and two. The Phoenix they were at they were basically almost courtside um, with the Haitian flag over his face for uh, the oh, Phoenix Suns game. They were Phoenix, yeah. Damn. I'm a Juju. I think Juju Phoenix broke ESPN. my heart. Did oh you wow! Fan That's what's up. Yeah. No, I mean i I haven't been um I haven't been doing the professional gambling that you can do now. I feel I feel like I might be missing out the way everybody's talking to me about it. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to win or lose your money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. You know, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Anyway, I I like to gamble. Don't get me wrong. I'm a gambler. Shout out, shout out the World Series of Dice coming mm. soon. That's when I travel from uh, casinos in small town America to big cities and foreign countries uh, demonstrating the skills of dice playing. It's also following the tales of me and my cohort, God Bless Beats. He makes an appearance in there. You know what I mean? Actually, it's about both of our incredible dice powers uh, as we go on to crack major bank and also go through motherfucking heartbreaking losses and then rebound and take over the world. It's the World Series of Dice coming soon. You'll see it. Brought to you nice. by Robux. <laughs> Roblox. You know what I mean? That's right, man. Roblox, man. Put me on, man. I need that bread, Jack. <laughs> I need that bread. I got shout plans for it. I will take bang. it to the dice table. Shout, shout I, will, I will hit motherfucking 11s every time, Jack. Watch. But anyway, I digress. Hey, yo, I need you at my table when we playing craps at, on the boat or whatever we at. Yeah, yeah. Word. No, yeah. no, for, no, for real. Like, no, for real. We'll go crazy. No, for real. Word. Like, I only play uh, roulette though. Real I'm dice a, players. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. Forgive me. Crap I'm a pussy. Shooters. I, I I play roulette. I got a better chance. Roulette's of cool. Meg is good at roulette. He's he's real. Yeah. yeah, he he gets busy over there. That's his game. He has fun over there at that. True indeed. Anywhere they give you free liquor, liquor in Vegas. 
I'm having fun. Yeah. That's just about everywhere in Vegas. Yeah. yeah so I'm having fun the whole time. As long yeah. as you're gambling, you can drink for free. So indeed. I go over there and put like $5 on the old Vegas and bang. Give me some crown. Dang, man. I got a scar. I got a hole in my arm. What else we got, fellas? Oh, you got hat, huh? You ran through my topics. I, I started skateboards again, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got skateboards coming. That looks like a piece of freaking cheese. Ooh, it's buttery. Carl, Carl painted that right there. Carl is yeah, a jack of all trades, master in. of all. Yeah. Jack yeah, of all trades, master wild. of all. We're just a one-off. We're doing some one-offs. We're going to do an abyss mm-hmm. board that we'll, we'll uh, put up on the Patreon or do something special with. Um, but he's going to hand paint that. Uh, this is going to be uh, uh, a deck that I'm giving to somebody, so um, mm-hmm. I, I can't talk too much about it on on camera. So yeah, okay, so exactly. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's good. It's a very yeah, distinctive. It's gonna color, be good. Though. It's gonna be dope. So indeed, yo. So indeed, yo. Yeah, man. Yo, yeah. hey, yo, boom! Y'all be looking forward to some big guests coming up soon. Uh, low key, we need to make the big splash on fifty, Paul. Then um. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we can. Well, we, we got, we, we got, definitely. we got a lot of a lot of ground to cover before we get to the five O man. You know what I mean? We to do the, it just to changed. the power cipher. You know what I mean? We go. You there know you what I mean? Like mm-hmm. we got to, we got to, we got to take our time. You know what I mean? There's gonna be so several, indeed. several epic events that happen between now and then. You know so that indeed. we will be, we will, we will have a great time getting to that land, man. But anyway. Yeah, we have I was just going through the yeah, the list that we had already of, of the amazing guests we've already had on. Mm-hmm. And uh I think I mentioned it to you guys that, you know, there are so many people that we want to talk to, but we're gonna be doing this for a while. So there's no need mm-hmm. to rush. We're we're gonna get all of the, the dope MCs and producers and artists and shit. Um if you're if you're good, we're we're gonna have you on. So, indeed. So. Also I like boom a repeat guest. Like I love it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta talk to A Son again about basketball because mm. we both have we both yes. still have the same opinion. Like like we watch we, we really say we watch the game to watch the Warriors. So I wonder what his mm. opinion is mm. gonna be now. Then me and yeah, Matt we've got a lot we of, can, of yeah, folks that want to return. We just need to go on live like on a weekend or something, be like and just record it like that and just keep it up there on the page or some shit like that, really honestly. Yeah. I think so, because this would be an interesting conversation. Yo, when you want to go live, hey, son, talk about basketball. Boom, let's talk about basketball. Boom, let's, let's get it. I'm recording. Not me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. We'll record that shit. Keep it up there. All right. <laughs> Boom. Work. Work. Yeah, yeah, man. It's coming uh, on we might right have to work on the day. positioning of, of, of Lukey's background shot. I don't know if uh, you see... Yeah, that's you know whatever, man. Y'all, we might dong. y'all treacherous out here, man. Y'all treacherous. I'm just saying we might want to adjust a little bit because make sure the Lukey Cage sure part of the show. Hey, that's hey, what I meant. Feel like a lady in Saudi Arabia, purity police. Turn around. Turn around. I'm yeah, good. Yeah, don't turn around. Yeah, yo, I wonder. I don't know. I ain't really oh. that close. I wonder. This is Dave, Dave Post. Do this album cover for me. That's not Dave Post, man. I wonder if he made he made a bulge in my dong. Did he? He didn't. No, he didn't. Good. He doesn't. He doesn't draw to be to to go anatomically uh, <laughs> correct, man. He just draw to be like a powerful person, man. Like you know, this is the thing, man. I like know he got chest you hair. Go. There you go. I'm oh, sorry, Luke. Got, you know, nobody my, was thinking my, that. They just tried to make my, you a person. I got my my chest hair. No, no, no. I got my chain. And I got my, he got my tattoo right. out of my chest. Got my tattoo yep, on my chest. Is. Yeah, so boom. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty dope, yo. What's up, yeah. bro? Yeah, you okay. say what's up, yeah, bro? I don't, I don't, Never mind. I don't no change. Yeah, no, you know. Oh, you're, just, you're, you're flashing know. some for pro? Yeah, I just let them, you know, seeing my mustache and, and my goddamn it, you know, my chains. I told you, so man, funny, I'm going to have two more. Uh, the next time you you know when you see me, oh. you know I ain't gonna go up past six though. But anyway, yo, know, this it's is true. right after the uh the damn umbrella show. That's the only reason why I said you know shouted him out. You know, shout out pro, shout mm-hmm. out Mickey, shout out goddamn it, 
Creasy, shout out, mm-hmm. motherfucker. So Snotty gift. gonna be there. So, God damn it, Allah. Okay, you Allah know what I mean. Look, J Royale, uh, uh, Mac Nice, uh, Buff yep. Styles gonna be there. Shout Buff out Buff Styles, Styles gonna be there. You know what I mean. I can only imagine. I'm sure the, it was a good it, show. Who did I leave off? I know I left somebody off. Uh, forgive me. Uh, but yeah, man, I know it's gonna be a bugged out show. Whoever the special guests snotty. are who show up there. Did we say snotty. Yeah, we said snotty, man. Snotty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, it's gonna be raw, man. I'm I'm just happy that uh they put together like I'm really a fan of theirs right now, man. Just for kind of what they doing, man. Um, it's dope yep. that the energy is around them of being on some ill collective shit, being on some ill collective of dope rappers shit you know what i mean so this show if it went the way i think it went as i'm talking now in the past which is the future you know what i mean (laughs) it should be exactly what i said it was which is like a coming out party of some ill motherfuckers demonstrating on stage uh in front of a crowd that really appreciates them for what they are which is bringing a dope uh, approach back this shit, man. Keeping this fire alive, you know. What I mean, the keeping yeah, the abyss slimy. They are, yeah, they they uh, are of course. I mean, part of it. They feeding it because because I mean, it's, it's only so much or so far Gazelda can do, and then yeah, we ride we ride their wave, and, and it's, it's been time. There's other other. There's more crews out there. There's other I people them. out here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shout out, I mean, you know, that don't take away from nothing that Griselda did. I mean, Not I think all. it's. But as, as just, you get you know, success from Brown Bag Money and you get success from the yeah. Walkers and you get success from yeah. the Umbrella, it's you need that to be underneath That's, whatever Griselda had started. It I mean, already started. Indeed. And then, yeah. then we just, we all just come, Paul. We all come to the, uh, I mean, boy, it's great. And in, in, in hip hop, no one should be <laughs> mad at hip hop anymore, yo. No one should no. be like nothing no about reason to be. No. Nope. Okay. Enjoy whatever right, lane you enjoy. Let's, let's wrap this up. My headphones are dying, yo. My fucking shit. That's cool. Man, I need to get um different charger for this shit. I think it should be last longer than this shit, yo. Yeah. Anyway, any more announcements, guys? Shout out to Papa Bitch. You know what I'm saying? Where, yes. Where, where? Huge shout out to Papa Bitch. Uh, in the building. Shout out to Ala Preen for uh, that dope interview we had the other day, yo. Big up to him. Shout out to Dave Proch for the artwork. You know what I'm saying? Amazing shit, yeah. yo. Shout out for the yeah. double. The Wait, you guys see the Bub Styles episode. That'll drop mm-hmm. just before this one did. Oh, true indeed. Shout out to my dude Bub. And In the past shout future out to my present. man Dread Eye, yo. Word. Shout out to my man Dread mm-hmm. Eye, man. It's been a long time good friend since MySpace. No, no, no. Before MySpace or during that time, Not MyRockets.com. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Yeah. So, MySpace, to RV social media network, me and him been on. So, yeah, it's a good dude. Yep. So, indeed. <laughs> hey, fucking thumbs up then, man. I mean, That's hey, up, man. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for spending fucking 40 episodes. Uh, getting down and getting busy on these topics and shining light into the abyss and and you know talking about what we talk about, man, and, and approaching things yeah. the way we approach it. Hopefully, it's giving you a different perspective on uh, certain topics and True just indeed. stand tall and uh, keep your you know keep your head on a swivel, man. Always be aware. And how I'm gonna end it is Joe Santana. Oh, you got something to say, Carl? Carl? Mm-mm. Nope. Well, George Santana said, shaking my head, no homo. What? <laughs> hold on, you said Jewel. Hold on, but straight up though. Check me out though, man. I had my I don't ask me why, man. But this is this is how I was I was already like <laughs> What is that? It's a bandana on a fitted hat. It's a bandana on a fitted hat. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I had this uh, put together like this. Oh, no, I had this. Yeah, I had this for some work shit. I had this bandana, but I kept it. But then I put it on this fitted hat for whatever reason. 
It's a fresh ass socks. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah man, you, know. you, you get that's Halloween costume. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Joe <Dual> Santana. <laughs> we can all go as Dipset, but Carl got to be Jim Jones. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to be Santana. You got to be Cameron. Carl got to be Jim Jones. Shit, man. Be, hey, man. In my in my next life, I'll have... No, shit, my next week, I'm trying to get money like Cameron. Fuck that, man. Shout out to Flea. <laughs> I want, you know, I want my... Uh, Cameron I want get my, busy, man. He owns love. restaurants and all types of shit, man. He Cameron. Do, do Santana don't got his two front teeth. So he got like good. Him. He got good dentures, though, man. So he's straight, man. I'm not. You can't shame him. I got fake teeth, but mine you don't do? look too great. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, they come out though. No, they don't come out. Hopefully not yet. Shit, but I gotta. I gotta out. go to the dentist to make sure my shit stay up in there. No, no oh. one. No one gets. No one gets a gap put in. That that shit's all original. Oh, see, we, yeah. can't, we, can't, <laughs> we can't. We can't. We can't. Yo, Carl, we can't talk about that. The, yeah, word. All right, we gotta, no, no, no. Yeah. We can't talk about that aspect of it. That's no, yeah, yeah. Word, but gap team gaps, yo. Word, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, big mama got a gap advantage. Too. Big mama advantage. Right. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, you guys think you're so mind. cool because you got real teeth. That's all right. That's I mean, all right. Shit, no, no, teeth. just because we mean, got no. a gap. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but my daughter gonna have one too. And shout out to Victor Ol- 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 Oladipo's barber. You, you were horrible. Word. Oh man, this, is it? This, 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 I gotta check yeah, that series out. I didn't even want to watch the Miami and Boston one. I don't even really yeah. care because I, I know do. go to state or win it all, man. I don't know. Celtics look good. They both are good, man. But fuck I, you I, up. I, I I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. But I don't know. I'm just not that interested. I need to force myself to watch that one. It's basketball, so I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Learn. You're right. Yeah, yeah, well. But all right, fellas, this has been episode 40 of the Abyss Podcast. I need to take a shower. I need to eat something because I'm feeling famished. And I got to get my black ass up and go back to work soon. Y'all subscribe to the Patreon. We love y'all. Uh, talk to us on the podcast page. Talk to us on our regular pages. And we'll see y'all next week with another episode of the Abyss Podcast featuring me, Luki Cage, Primo Jab, and Carl the White Monk. Peace. I'll let y'all later. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Please remember, go to our Patreon. There's going to be a ton of extra content. If you're just going in as a base level subscriber, we're going to give you all of the podcasts with the extra music added into it. You're going to get music videos whenever possible. Uh, We are also going to just add extra content in there. Uh, for the base level but we will have two other levels the second level is going to give you a lot of extra content uh, and the third level gives you the merch so you can get that uh, one-of-a-kind t-shirt that's only going to be available on the patreon but you're also going to be able to get a uh, uh, a certified investors mug yes Uh, if you want to check it out you can go take a look at the patreon it's there Uh, as well as a dope hoodie so Uh, subscribe, uh, follow us, support the podcast, share this information if you can. Uh, We really appreciate you fucking with us and uh, we'll keep bringing you more. Peace.